This is The Archivist, and you've clicked on my video for suggesting content for this channel. Now perhaps you've watched a few of my videos, and you've started thinking something like, wasn't that story about Optimus Prime and the 10,000 interstellar zombies great? This channel could really use some more stuff like that. So if you've had that sort of a thought, what you'll want to do is click on the like button. That tells me that you enjoyed that particular story, and I'll be a bit more inclined to look for similar pieces to read. If I get a lot of likes, I'll definitely be looking for more Optimus Prime vs. Zombie stories like that to read. But then perhaps you really liked that story about Optimus Prime and the 10,000 interstellar zombies, and you went looking on the internet for more Optimus vs. Zombies fanfiction. And you found some great works out there. And there was one story in particular that tickled all your fanish fancies. It had Optimus Prime and zombies and awesome space battles and amazing world building and Megatron bitch slapping star scream. And after reading it, you thought, man, that was the best fanfic ever. I would love to hear the archivist read it, and so would everyone else. Well, you're in luck. This could happen for you. All you have to do is email me with the following information. The name of the fic, the author's name, where I can find it, and what you're suggesting for reading, whether it's the entire story or chapter 47, or that bit in chapter 23 that starts with Optimus grabbed the closest zombie by the throat and shoved him into a convenient industrial stand mixer, and ends with Alita One gave him a huge kiss and hugged him as if tomorrow would never come. You'll find the email address at the end of this video and also in the channel description. Now, this being said, I do have a few guidelines for my channel content, so please bear with me here. 1. Length. Ideally, about 800 to 2,000 words. I'm mostly looking to feature short, tasty samples that will intrigue the reader and open them up to investigating more. Think fun size. 2. Quality. Works should be nearly error-free, well-written, and flow nicely when read aloud. I will be very unlikely to select something that's full of grammatical, punctuation, and spelling errors. If it's full of usage mistakes, continually worded awkwardly, if it's confusing or choppy, I most likely won't be using it. But the work doesn't have to be perfect either. Or even written at a professional level. Basically, if your English teacher would give it at least a B or a B plus, it should be good enough. 3. Rating. Now, everything I read needs to be suitable for most audiences. Ask yourself this. Could I watch a video about this with my grandma sitting on the couch next to me? If you can say yes, it's probably okay. So please, no super violent scenes, no smut fix, no super weird selections. Now, perhaps you found a nice little segment in a larger work that meets all the criteria, but the larger work is rated for sex and violence and a really squicky medical scene. That's fine. I'm only controlling the content I'm sharing with viewers, so feel free to suggest that. I'm only controlling the content I'm actually sharing with viewers. There are a lot of great fanfics out there in so many fandoms that include moments you don't want to share with your grandmother, but the rest is quite shareable. Now, a side note here. I realize that most Transformers continuities are about a war that's older than the human race, so there is a background expectation of fighting and violence. Yes, you can submit fics that contain battle and fight scenes. A well-written battle scene can be exciting. So, in general, consider that canon typical violence is okay in most instances. 4. Content I want to feature stories that aren't just well written, but also somewhat interesting. There should also be a good use of the Transformers content and characters. The property is blessed with hundreds of characters and settings and continuities for authors to play with, and you can take that literally or figuratively. 
Thanks, Hasbro and Takara. Suggested content should additionally have some concept of plot or at least something's happening or about to happen. In other words, I'm not going to be very interested in a thousand words of the author describing the setting and then there's 200 more words in which the main character enters, says hello, and then it's over. I'm also going to ask that canon characters are the driving force of the selection. It's all right if there are original characters in there, and possibly they're even the main character, but the story and the action should be guided by someone we all know and love, or have heard of and hate. If you're unfamiliar with the terms here, a canon character is one that is the property of the movie, the comic, the cartoon, the franchise, etc. An original character is a character created by the author. Now, regarding alternate universe fanfics, I'm enthusiastic about them with one condition. Our characters need to be robots, real robots. So, please, no human AUs. So, that means no coffee shop AUs, no high school or band camp or everybody's at college AUs. Regarding crossover fanfics, I'm enthusiastic as well, though Transformers canon will need to be the focus or the driving force of the story. Regarding property, I'm open to all continuities and characters. As mentioned before, the Transformers franchise has so many continuities to work with, various incarnations and reboots and media forms. I'm happy to include any of it, whether the continuity was a manga or a movie or a pack in comic or whatever. So basically, if someone wrote a decent fanfic of it, I'm game. Regarding crack fix or troll fix, maybe, maybe not. I'll have to give the suggestion a look. Now as for crack couples, Primus do I love a good crack couple story. Some of the most interesting Transformers fanfics I've read have centered around some weird pair. So anyway, before contacting me, consider those eight things. Title, author, location, and suggestion. And also consider the length, the quality, rating, and content. You might just want to quickly jot these eight things down if you haven't already. Now, eight things might seem like a lot of hoops to jump through, but it isn't really. Not if you love fan fiction, which in this fandom is sometimes better than the original content. I'd also like to say that if you write fan fiction, Please feel free to suggest your work. I'd love it. This channel is here to promote Transformers fan fiction and its authors as well. One more thing I'd like to mention. Please only make one suggestion per email. This helps me to keep things tidier and more efficient. You're welcome to make more than one suggestion, and I do encourage that. But like I said, one suggestion per email. Well, I think that about sums up what I want to let my viewers know regarding contributing suggestions to the Iaconian Archives. So please head out there and do a little poking around and send me an email. I'm eager to know what you'd like to have me read, and this will help me include some of the continuities that I'm less familiar with. Thank you for viewing, and see you the next time you enter the Archives.